And now to the war in Ukraine. The U.S. is sending a new $700 million security package to Ukraine that includes four high-mobility artillery rocket systems known as HIMARS. But the weapons are coming too late for another Ukrainian city that has been taken over by Russia. Severodonetsk was one of the last major cities in the Luhansk region to remain under Ukraine's control. Earlier this week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called Severodonetsk the, quote, epicenter of the confrontation. But local officials say Russia now controls most of the key city after being bombarded by near-constant shelling. Retired Army Colonel David Johnson joins us now for more on this. He's also the principal researcher at the RAND Corporation and an adjunct scholar at the Modern War Institute at West Point. Colonel Johnson, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. So as we mentioned earlier, the U.S. is sending Ukraine these four high-mobility artillery rocket systems, also known as HIMARS. How do these weapons work, and how do they compare to the weapons Russia's military has been using? So HIMARS is a, is a very effective weapon system. It has a pod of six rockets um, that fire out to about 40 miles. They're GPS guided in some cases, and they're very accurate. And what they do is close the gap um, over what the Russians have with the Grad rocket system, which is their most common system still. They have longer range rockets, but they're not as proliferated. I think the other thing is really important to understand is the Ukrainians have a lot of old Russian systems to include grads. Uh, they don't make the ammunition. So part of what's important about HIMARS and the howitzers we're sending to them is giving them a supply chain for the ammunition uh, to support a launcher. Colonel, how much of an impact do you see these weapons having on Ukraine's ability to fight Russian troops and on the overall trajectory of this war? I think they're significant. The, obviously, more is better. Uh, but what the, the increased artillery and multiple launch rocket systems provide is not only the ability to go after Russian artillery, which is what is having the biggest impact on the Ukrainian forces, uh, if you read accounts or Twitter accounts from the front, uh, the artillery fire is just unbelievable uh, against the Ukrainians. In Severodonetsk uh, and Mariupol, they were just, it was horrendous. The Russians just pounded those cities into to rubble. So what this does when coupled with what we're also seeing, which are counter fire um, radar systems, we'll be able to identify Ukraine's identify where the artillery is coming from and rapidly respond to it. And the, the real value of, of HIMARS is the rocket is has a lot of throw weight. In other words, a fairly large explosive. So the ability to take out Russian artillery systems, but also importantly, troop concentrations, go after the logistical lines of communication, and after their headquarters as they identify them with uh, signals intelligence. Sounds like very significant and valuable weaponry for Ukraine. Yeah. Retired Army Colonel David Johnson, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your expertise. Thanks for having me again. Take care.